Yeah, you can do like down throw, kick, up throw, kick, she chain throw. She's, she's got a lot of options with her grab. And she's kind of hard to get grabs up there. I imagine on, on fastballers is probably where she has the most options. Yeah. Choice to Kells on stage. I'm thinking he's going to go Rainbow Freeze or Stadium. He's not that desperate yet. Stadium. He's going Pokemon Stadium. This sets a 2 1. Favorite stage of another Midwest Fox player, Kani Kitsune. Which, which is full of Johns these days. Yes, Cunning does still play. He's still amazing at the game, but for whatever reason, just not, he does not like to play in singles. You know? He's the John Master. He plays, he plays the game for just the fun of it now. He doesn't like the pressure of tournaments anymore. Just gets to him. Cosmo, getting off. Cosmo, getting strikes off. first. Starting off strong. I'm seeing more, more aggressive Cosmo now. He's not just fishing as much, but more going yeah. after Kels. Changing up the style a little Kels bit. Kels probably feeling the momentum loss about now. Guys will continue to do damage. He might, have thought, that, lead. He might have thought that last match was a fluke, but now maybe not, you know? Yeah. Perhaps the tables have turned, like Kirk said. Cosmo. Great forwards. Cosmo building up on the lead. Building his lead up. How effective is crouch canceling against Zelda? It depends, dude. It depends on your percentage. It depends where you're at in relation to that ridiculous hitbox, you know? That's true. You can, you can crouch that up smash, but dangerous territory. Cosmo connecting with another forward smash. He's really baiting Kells really well at this point. What's Cosmo going to do here? This is not a good place to be. This is not, not yeah. a good place to be. I'm not really sure if Zelda's options at this part of the stage, but it does not look very good. He could be planking right now. That'd be a solid strategy. Kells does not kill him. Cosmo, a very solid DI right there. Because we're refusing to stay in the ledge. He wants to battle. Oh, wow. oh. oh. It's like he's going for the down smash. Up smash, kills Texa. Cosmo's gotten a lot of profit off his mouth. Cosmo's still on the yeah, stock. At the end of the day, he's still alive. I mean, okay. so Cos yeah. Cosmo got a lot out of that stock. Let's see. What's this going? 1-1. 1-1. Yeah, the set is at 1-1 right now. Cosmo in a slight lead right now. Percentage. Kelsey really needs to get the stock over with. Can't let I'm sure Kels is feeling it right now. Kels is. If he loses this game, the pressure's on. Cosmo should have stayed on the ledge a second ago, but he does finish it with a down smash. Like all the same. Man, Cosmo's really connected to these forward smashes. It's about seven sports matches in the past. Wow. Stop. Eight. Eight sports matches. It's very impressive. Let's keep the count running. There's that air dodge. It's pretty much another jump for him. Guys, we're playing in dangerous territory right now. Needs to gain some ground. Get some stage presence. Okay. He's back. Kels seems to be a little perturbed right now. I just kind of for these forward smashes again. Solid move. It's hard to punish. Yeah, it's hard. It's getting hard for Fox to approach. So. Great toe. Kels wow. strikes again. Takes a commanding lead of the match. Fox getting to pay. He could really put some pressure on Kels at this point. Gains 4%, 12%. Building on his lead still. Still holding on to that third stock. Extremely impressive performance by Cosmo. He's playing Zelda. Cosmo comfortable at the ledge, but needs to get center stage. Kel's not playing as carefully as he was before. His patience is dwindling. He's feeling he's, the pressure now. He's had a little bit of tech skill mess up too. You can tell he's feeling it right now. This game is far from being over though. Fox is a great character. Cosmo continues his relentless assault. Cosmo still building his lead. Not even taking a hit yet. Forward wow. smash again. Forward smash. It's about 10. 10 forward smash this match. There's that light shield. It's so big. It's so big. Zell's light shield really protects you from that barrage this of shine. This could be it. This could be it. Wow. That smash comes out fast. Wow. Everyone's scattered for free pizza right now. Cosmo there. takes the match. It's just a bad Cosmo takes the match. Takes the lead in the set. A 2 1 lead. Cosmo, Cinderella story out of nowhere. This is 2 1, right? 2 1, wow. 2 1 Cosmo. Cosmo, Cosmo wins his last way. game. He might. 
move on to Grand Finals. That's Zelda versus Cosmo. We will move on to Grand Finals. Tell us a little about this matchup. I actually, I played this matchup versus Cosmo a little while earlier. Uh, Kel's going to have to be really careful how he approaches Cosmo's shield. It's so scary. Why is that? Um, every time he approaches Cosmo's shield, Cosmo has an option of either, uh, if, if, if he's close, uh, he could up smash, or if he's, if Falco runs far, Cosmo's just going to try and, uh, board air back air. So you got to tread really lightly around Zelda, but at the same time, you can't just laser all day. Right now, Kels appears to be doing just fine. Yeah, definitely. Uh, very Cosmo, Cosmo's shield is low right now. He needs to recharge some time. What kill options does Falco really have on Zelda, though? I, I don't think any of them are safe. Uh, probably back there is the safest one. Who's that still? Another fast move. Oh! The quick draw. Cosmo's so patient in that shield. They both go for the moves. Mess up on the recovery, but... He could have stretched that stock a little longer, but who knows how long it was back there. Even, Even game. game. Two of the Midwest best players going at it. Kind of a Cinderella story, like we said earlier. Zelda coming out of nowhere. A lot of spacing there. Um, Cosmo backing up and waiting for Kels to overextend himself. Kind of, kind of a good feeling whenever you see Zelda connected to the forward smash. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. it makes you feel warm and tingly on the inside. Like it's that Cinderella story syndrome. <laughs> It's one of the symptoms, huh? That's a real story. all day. Falco has trouble punishing that for some reason. I feel like Falco can't really punish Zelda's roles either. Is that the case? That's probably true. It's, it's just unsafe territory. I'm dancing around that shield. Man. I would not, I would not be standing where Kels is right now. I would not be standing there. Here's be doing fine. Kels, Kels but, relentless pressure on the shield. Yeah, Not like Cosmo think. Cosmo's shield's getting really low there. A couple, a couple phantasms just to mix things up. Some brawl stuff right there. Cosmo goes for the uh, forward air, but Kels does hit with the back air instead. Whoa. Kels reads the up B. Very rare, but effective in this instance. Lost he couldn't get there in time. So it was just a little too slow. She's got to pick it ahead of time. Cows a power shield in a second ago with that ridiculously small shield. Cows were using the shield to the fullest extent. Back air. No follow up. It's a laser bag. Isn't that neutral and be really soft? I've never seen like, any other Zelda do that. That was a great toe there. Caught Kells off guard. Even game, once again, Kells just cannot put Cosmo away. Cosmo's staying close to match and he wants it all. He's trying to finish Kells out right now. Cosmo switches to Zelda. Or, I mean, switches to Sheik. I'm so used to Sheik switching to Zelda. Yeah, I know, right? Cosmo's put on some Sheik mind games. Kells yeah. taunt. <laughs> 58%. Cosmo looking to seal the stock. Kells is saying. Wow. That's dangerous territory for uh, Zelda there. I thought he was going to get that, but he did not. Kells appears to have got the uh, Zelda's recovery game down a little bit. He's starting to edge guard a lot better than he was before. Cosmo needs to finish the stack up if he wants to stay in this game. He needs to finish it off fast. You don't want to fall from too far behind. There we go. Uh, one kick. One kick. One if, swift. If you don't, if you don't DI, Falco's recovery will not make it. Those are the glass slippers. Glass slippers, a Cinderella story. Another toe. Up smash. Up smash, wow. Trying Just major damage. That. I guess it's not really effective. It's dangerous. Dangerous chance territory. Chance smash. Major uh, damage. Zelda, pretty high percent. Uh, maybe 50 more and she's easily in kill percent. I wouldn't have done that, but Cosmo has Cosmo. other motives. Cosmo gets away with them there. Cosmo goes for the grab.
Another grab, just missed it. It appears that Phil got the jab out before she grabbed. The grab is very slow. Cosmo needs his shield back. He wants to do, finish this off. He needs to reach. He needs to make something happen. He needs to make something happen fast. 38% on Falco. Got a couple hits there. 40. A well placed kick might be able to finish out the off. Don't look for any kill move. Up to back air, forward smash, down smash, anything. Just trying to stay even. Get back in the set. Up smash. Oh. Oh! oh! Finish him. Oh. Oh! 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 Cinderella story. Victory. Cinderella's way. Locher going in the grand finals. That, that was really clutch there at the end. Kells just. Cosmo. In the end, Cosmo really just figured out Kells' game. I mean, it was. It's true. I mean, there was nothing else about it. It was crazy. Before, when they played earlier today, Kells dominated him. But as, as time went on, Cosmo seemed to get more and more comfortable playing the base animals.